I think uh, the best thing that happened to Hong Kong is the security law. Uh, from day one, I've been pushing for the security law to come to Hong Kong. I know many countries around the world uh, are very upset uh, with China, but it's become political. It's really, really wrong because the, out of 200 countries around the world, 120 have security laws. The United States itself has about 20 security laws. And these are the people, you know, uh, United States and, 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 and uh, some of the other countries around the world have been kind of bashing Hong Kong and bashing China because they think uh, this is terrible, take away the freedom from Hong Kong people. Well, I mean, it's terrible because they all have security laws and, and, and some of them are much more stringent. Security law that we got, China actually did a very good job because in essence, they want to keep one country, two systems. That's very important. What they could have done is just take the Chinese security law, put it in Hong Kong and say, okay, we're following the Chinese security law since we are That's one country, two systems. But what they didn't do was they took six months in order to draft a new security law apropos to Hong Kong, really to fit into our basic law and, and to make it adaptable to Hong Kong. And, and when they came out with it, of course, we saw from the protests and, and the violence that, that happened all last year and the beginning of this year, suddenly, the day that it came out, everything quietened down. Life got back to normal. Yes, you have a few people who are kind of uh, upset because they can't do what they did before. But you know, what we had in Hong Kong was anarchy. People did not obey laws. They thought, I'm fighting for a cause. The law doesn't, uh, doesn't apply to me. You can't do that. Man needs to live within laws. Otherwise, we're animals. If you want to go live in the jungle, he can roam free. But, but when you're living in a, in a civilized society, we have to have laws. And the security law really, in a fair way, brings uh, stability back to Hong Kong.